Hi everybody, my name is Keaton and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we just took on the Fire Temple to get ourselves another secret stone, but this time it's for Yunobo. So now, today we're gonna be continuing on, and, and I want to mention, I know I said I, I wanted to do like the Korok's location, but I want to put that on hold for later until I get like, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I think when I when I tried the beginning, uh, some I tried with the apples, but it didn't work. Something tells me I need to get like an, I need to have a mighty bananas to do this. I only have two, so I need to get one more to have a three. I know it sounds weird, but you know I I just barely practiced doing it, figuring out. But now I know something, so it it might take me a while. So I'm gonna put that on wait. I'm just gonna focus on like doing the other things I wanted to do, and I'll continue doing phenomena quest, but. But right now what I want to do is I want to talk to Bluto because if you remember last episode he just he has an exclamation on his head mentioning something that might wants us to do as he's talking to Yunobo right now. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk to him. So um, I remembered something about the other Zelda. When we were mining marbled rock roast on the up north side of Death Mountain she said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the Lizard Lakes but she didn't say why. <laughs> Bit surprised to hear the words Lizard Lakes coming out of your crawl. Don't much hear about the, them lakes these days. I still recall an old Nazuri rhyme about him. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Not everyone knows this, but the lizard lakes are also called the Lizard Brothers. I searched high and well for them back in my younger years. Always thought treasure must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. It was covered in lava before you could say boom. Boy, I'd forgotten all about my search for that lake. That's it. Talking about this has me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch way back when led me to the north side. There's a Yonobo code dig site there too, so we can hop in the minecart and get cracking. My aching back. And we have a, a, the hidden treasure at Lizard Lakes. That's part of a side quest. It's actually pretty easy uh, to find, even though it shows us here. But what I heard is it's somewhere like this one right here. So I'm gonna put the red pin. Oh no, nope, not the the cookie one. I actually want to put the red pin here to help me get me there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and teleport there to get to the the Lizard Lakes. So here we are. This is the part that we went to the the fire went, went up to Death Mountain last episode. Like it was like like last episode there was like a Death Mountain we had to, and then the other episode which was part twelve we did like, um, let's say we did the the fire temple. But as you can see, we now have Yonobo's avatar with us, which means now we have it with us. And I see a tower right over there. Oh look. And that must be the, I think that's the, that must be the tier, the next tier here. And there's a shrine here too. I'm like placing all the pins around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like come down here to the, I'm gonna come down here first. I'm gonna do the lake lizard. Then I'll do the shrine. Oh, there's another shrine over there. I didn't know there's another one there. Looks like we got some more exploration to do before I head on to the next. I was gonna do the core rocks, but but you know I couldn't like figure. I mean, there are there's a part that I couldn't figure out what to place on. Like I tried to like put the apples on like the holder, but but it didn't work for the core rock to show up. So I feel like something tells me I have to use the mighty bananas, which I only have two. I need to get one more to have a three. So that's a thing. All right, so you know, right here, please. There we go. Discovery. This is Lizard Burrow. This is what we are inside here for. So here's a treasure chest. As I'm running towards there, and open this up. What we get is the Vaudania Divine Helm. Awesome. 
Now you remember. Now you remember that. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like wearing Divine Helm. If you have played Breath of the Wild, if you have like the Champions Amiibos, um, you'll be getting yourself a Divine Helm like this. this is, it's really awesome about that, if you ask me. So it, it's actually so I find it pretty cool about that. And I did not mean for Link to be shirtless when I'm trying to get him to wear his hat. But there we go, that was the side quest. It was actually pretty short, pretty easy to find. I thought, I I was like, I don't know which lake, but it's here now. Since I, you know, just looked it up about uh, where do I need to go, where I can find, and the answer is here. So we have that out of the way. Uh, looks like all we have to do now is just gotta take care of like two shrines. Like, I'm hitting the yellow pin there, and there's a green pin here. After that, I want to come back up to, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, I have to come like here, so I can like head to the blue pin that's gonna take me to the next Skyview Tower that I wanted to get it unlocked. And then hopefully after that, then it'll be the time for me to, you know, head on to the next destination. Which I'm thinking about... Like, let me show you, uh, as... Oh, uh, I'm trying to like, right here. Oh, whoops. So yeah, there's only two left, but there's a shrine right here that I already went there, but there's no tower. But that's something what I'm gonna do, but first I'm gonna take care of things first before I head to like, uh, I believe the, the next one. It, it'll probably take me, I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but hopefully it won't take me too long to figure out about the next destination I'll be heading to, but uh... But yeah, we'll see how, what I'm gonna do. So this part right here is not hard actually. What we wanna do is I wanted to like... I wanna... Okay, wait. Okay, I made it look crooked. Which, I made it worse, but... But it's okay, I think? But... Nope, not that one, but... Unless if there's another... Oh gosh, I can't... I can't even see. I can't tell. Oh, okay, I barely got that one. Alright, let's see how that's gonna do when I go up. Alright. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Uh, I just have to like combine all three together like this. So now I gotta do is just... Uh, get up there! There we go. Made it. So now we can get ourselves another Light Blessing, which that's gonna... Which I'm gonna have number three. So I just need to get the last one where I put the pin at that I found. We're doing good so far. So now that's done, let's go ahead and uh, just start heading this way. I'm following where the green pin takes me to, as I will find, um, you know, where I, I can find the next shrine to head to. After that, then I'll be heading to what it. I guess I'll be heading to any places. Whoa. Okay, well, we have ourselves a blood moon coming. Okay. <laughs> kind of scary, but... But, but hey, at least we already know what it's about. So I'll just skip it, whatever this happens. But yeah, it does feel weird. Like, it's as similar to, like, Breath of the Wild. Uh... But except in as Tears of a Kingdom that I'm playing right now, it's much more uh, different than the like, you know, tier, you know, Breath of the Wild. They don't have like the red, you know, float, you know, you know, floating thingy like this. But um, but they did make it same similar for Breath of the Wild with the Blood Moon Rise, which it does does feel and sound insane, but it is the truth. If you're asking me with that question. 
But okay, so here's the shrine that we have now officially made to. Oh, go ahead and, uh, there you go, use that link and get inside. Oh, okay, so this is the challenge I had to do with no clothes and no armor. So, outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Really? Proving ground smash. Uh, Alright, so I got these with me. I wonder, my, does it tell me I need to like, sneak attack them? Because if I have to do a sneak attack, that's going to be the problem. Rod. I was gonna do a s sneak attack, but I screwed it up. Okay, well, hopefully, need hopefully nobody heard me. As the music is playing. What's it gonna do? Here, I need to get to the hiding spot here. Now, I wanna figure out how to get over there. You know what I could do? Where's, where's it going? I want to try to sneak up. Okay. Alright, what are you doing? Alright. I'll clip out the long stick. Oh, they saw me. Well, I blew it up. gonna shoot me with the arrow. Okay, well, here goes. Okay, uh, take out the wooden stick. Whoa, there we go. Alright, before we rush on this one. You know, this would this would be funny if it like falls to the to the death of the water. Alright. You're gonna attack me? I know you will. There we go. Just what I want. Ow! Alright, well, at least I got that. Whoa, they're still shooting me. Alright. I want to figure out if I... You know. Wait. Ice fruits. Does it tell me something? It does! Okay. Okay. Hold on. Alright. Now I can just get to go through like this. There we go. Ow! You're rude. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, you just get the heck out of here and don't come back. Whew. 
our equipment will be returned to us now. I almost die on that part since I've been getting shot here. That was close. Whew. That was crazy. I've been scanning amiibos, which I haven't shown you yet, but uh, I'll do that after the ch opening the treasure chest. Captain to Reaper. Uh, I guess I'll... Well... Hmm. This might be a tough one to choose. Maybe drop this. Uh, I scanned amiibo. I got myself a white sword of the sky by using a scabbard sword wink amiibo. And then, uh... And then I got the... Uh, which one? I think it's, I used the Twilight Princess Link amiibo to get the a mirror of Twilight fabric. fabric. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool that I got those fabric stuff here after scanning amiibos. Pretty interesting, if you ask me. So there we go. Light of Blessing. Now we have four. So I decided to come here to the Lookout Spring Skyview Tower. Uh, I want to take a look around. Uh, like, I want to go to the... where is it? I want to go to shop. Uh, I think it's... Okay, you know what? Let me do the... I'm gonna get the heart container first. Oh, and we got something up ahead, which I'll probably... Which I think I'll do that later. Alright. Uh, heart container, please. I'll be taking a heart container. So I have 12, but for getting another heart container like this, now I'm going to have it up to 13. So there you go. Now I have 13 heart containers. I know I said not right now, but I feel like I want to go there. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, what's going on? What? Hey, look who it is! I'd recognize that face anyway. Or anywhere. And any face I know is the face of the friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. But you should probably avoid this area in particular. Sometimes I hear a creepy voice coming from this hole. It almost sounds like a demon growl growling or something. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. Uh... Between you and me, I kind of worry I weakened some demon when I busted up this wall. And even my, and my even bigger worry is that the demon has it out for me now. Robbie. Grunty, my beloved family. Goodbye forever. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess we'll do that. Who goes there? So that's a side quest we will do. Alright. Here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to use, um... Alright. Hear me. Alright. Oh, it's right. Sense me. Ah, now I see. I'm gonna break this one. I wanna see if there's something up ahead. Like, I'm really curious about this. Which I'm sure it'll probably get break no matter when. Alright, well at least I can get the bomb. Alright, it's broke. Oh yeah, uh, I could use uh, a spear to of Yunobo. But I'm curious what that one is about as I'm now going to be exploring through here. Um, but I want to come back. Yeah, there you go. It's that, uh, come to me, it says. Now, you might remember from Breath of the Wild. Um, we now have, like, ah, so there are some who still pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice? Yes. 
Now, that is a surprise. What were you praying for? A long life? Well, like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in a life and power that was what me once. As my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Talia, she turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected, but that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company of finally here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from, that, from this, but I have not. No, I have only been but uh, binding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears, someone such as you. I'm sure we could reach a beneficial ar arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible bargains. Or, now then, shall, I, shall we strike the bargain? Hold still, adult friend, I'll take care of everything, this won't hurt a bit. Oh no! It took my heart! I only have 12, how dare you! My touch is as suitable as ever. Note how I took the essence from you without leaving a mark. And now, we gotta deal with the statue. Give it back! Did you think I deceived you? Pierced the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So what will it be? Give me my heart. A wise choice, now remain still. There you go, that's much better. Now I have 13 hearts again. You look spectacle, not to worry. Money and life are, ours, are all as one of to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one. I return to you, a heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help temper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. Alright. Well, deal with the statue is now over. I think it's the part now of... Uh... Alright, I'll go back. I'm gonna talk to... Um... Where is she? Goodbye forever, she says. Talk to her. I broke... Okay, uh, I broke the wall and angered the demon and I'll be praying with my life. Okay, but uh, then we'll tell her. You what? You went inside the hole? Did you find a demon? Is, is this goodbye for me? Wait, a demon statue was in there, you say? I know a bit about those. Want to know- want to know what I know? Of course. A dealer in life and power touched by the wrath of the goddess falling to ruin. Then that must mean the horned statue isn't Tidy who deals in life and power. Which would make the days, uh, dais, the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. Mm. So the voice I heard was the for, um, for honored horn statue. As there is a sco goddess of light, then it follows that she would have an opposite, the horned god. Like light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Ah. Knocking a hole in a wall? That was fate, no doubt about it. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area a spike and span. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue from here too. Oh, and thanks, you know. Take this. And we got the 20 rupee. It's Robbie's spending allowance for next month, but now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Right, time to sell the old herbs and get back to work. And there we go, that was the side quest we have completed. Now, I know I wanted to like go back to do like, you know, I think, you know, find something what they have, but I want to continue exploring. Here. No, here. Do that here as I come here. It's probably just stuff, but I can also use Ascend to go up top. Come here. Oh yeah, there's... Alright, there's more here. I'll wait. Nope. Nope. 
I did not mean to use two, and I want to use Unobo for this. Because now I'm curious, what's this taking me to? Oh, okay. I think I think something was up. I wonder. Where's your nobo? There you are. All right, I'm trying. I'm trying to like get your nobo. Okay, can you? Are you gonna do the thing or not? I guess I'll just have to do that and start attacking, I guess. I guess that makes sense. I was like, no idea. Oh yeah, oh yeah, destroy that. Oh yeah, there's a rusty clay bar that I can use. Alright, nothing here uh, as I'm looking around right now. Is there a, oh yeah, I'm like, is there a rock I can use? And the answer is yes, there is. Oh, whoops. Alright, let's get up here. Pretty sure Yonobo is probably somewhere next to me. I don't know. All right, we're we're like I don't know. <laughs> I think today's episode as I'm exploring here. Oh come on, I want to hit that. There we go. Which I think I'll just keep going. No, what are you doing, Link? I should be able to... Okay, well, Tillin fits here. Oh, wait! Okay. Here. Perfect. Uh-oh. There's two. What are you doing? You, you, your noble is just, like, running around like this. He's just like running around for something, I don't know why. So we have two boulders. I think this one is just probably something I'm he hitting to. I wonder if I can make Yonobo hit the blue boulders here. I can! Okay, that's awesome. Alright. Uh, whoops. Alright, there you go. I'm like, wait for him. Oh, it looks like we'll probably have some enemies up ahead. That's what it tells me. Wow! <laughs> I don't have any rock ever. Well, now I can just grab this one. Okay, uh, use it. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. I, just grabbing random stuff. Whoa! What was that? Whoa! Okay. Alright, I'll guess. I guess I better fight that. <laughs> that sounds so weird and disgusting. Oh, hey, hey, I got a soldier's greaves. Nice. I guess I just come here for this. I guess I want to guess. All right, you can break the box. Thank you. 
so we can grab more arrows, because, yeah. I like getting more arrows here, so I can have enough much. Alright, let's use this. Perfect. And this is just a soldier's claymore. Alright, I think I'm gonna uh, get rid of that, because I don't really need that. Oh yeah, I could just go through the ceiling. I wonder where that's gonna take me since I'm here. Oh, uh, it just takes me out here. <laughs> hey, I made it out here. That's funny. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and uh, cut this. Get the leaves out of here. And we got a Korok. Hi. Which I was supposed to do to Korok, like... Uh, I would say do the Korok from, you know, uh, somewhere around, but I might need something that that's going to be helpful for me. Uh, Alright. I'll take, yeah, I'll, I'll grab some food. I'll be exploring around what I'm doing. But I'll make sure to get to the part where what's important, because I know there's a Skyview Tower waiting for me and there looks like a, a tier memory that, that might get us straight to it. Alright, that's just a tree branch that I don't need. No thank you with the tree branch. And looks like we have some side quests for Joshua. Uh -huh. I'm sorry Turo, you're not the right one for the job. Uh -huh. Come on, don't say that. You've got to let me cast my light into the depths too. I'm capable of dis um, disappearing from Zone I script. Huh. Or, okay, I didn't get to read. Uh, <laughs> got distracted. Um, I mean, your skills would be super helpful to me. You're one in charge of the Zone I survey team after all, but aren't you heading up the Ring Ruins investigation at Kakariko Village anyway, Tura? That's where you focus should be. Those fallen ruins are, f are huge and exciting, big enough to see from Lookout Landing. So please, finish your work there before asking to join in new research. Mm. But but to read firsthand Zonai history, that bait's too juicy to pass up. Is that one's Taru, or Taru. Swordsman! Uh, someone else is here for the job already? Because it's a lost cause. I'll head back to Kakarika Village and just stare up, stare up at those ring ruins. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that was just... Toro is an amazing person. He's, he's a first-rate archaeologist, too. But he loves Zonai research so much that he'll bolt from the project to chase any new discoveries. I've been looking for someone to help with my investigation of the depths. I mean, you'd be the best job for the... You'd be the best for the job. I'll help. Thank you. Having you help out is such a relief. We'll explain all the details to you. Come with me. Okay, well, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, I guess walk with, yeah, walk with Joshua as, you know, she wants me to walk towards too. Mm -hmm. Swordsman, this way. As, okay. Oh, is this? Uh -huh. So remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single myster mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. I guess what? They fit together like a puzzle okay. pieces. Ta-da! Just look. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed toward the next one in this series. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the buildings? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Uh -huh. So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gas, 
of each of those statues down there, you'll reach the structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is still just speculation on the on my part. So that's where you come in, Swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. In tally, or in Italy, I figured I could just go by cell, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid car on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So here, and we got the ten giant bright bloom seed. Uh -huh. You can have these too. And we got more arrows. Yeah. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus that checking out the devs might provide us with clues to find Princess Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, Swordsman. Alright, so I guess a mystery in the depths it says. Uh, yeah, that's what it says here. Even though it still says like... So we have to go find a temple like. As I'm looking up on my game guide, I'm trying to have it help me hour to go. But um <laughs> But okay. So my guess it is that hold on. I wanna go down here. Uh I I don't think I have low... I don't think I... Oh wait! There, I do! Okay, I'm like... I feel like I don't have anything to locate, but I actually do, so... Uh, so it's gotta be like... Somewhere down here, which I'm gonna have to go... Which I'm gonna have to be running for, I believe. Or maybe... I guess I'll just go... Let's just travel there. Sorry to keep you waiting for long. And I am here on this, uh, on a light route. I wanted to find, um, where, where is it? I think I have to go this way. I believe, maybe? I have a bright bloom with me. I haven't been exploring down so much on the depths here. Which now, I should do that. I think there might be, I don't know if there's something special uh, if I do like all the depths. I wonder if that includes the shrine, because it makes me teleport. I don't see a shrine in the depths here underneath, but I'm just like... I'm just heading towards this way. I know there's so many things I'm... Oh! Okay, I see the light. Okay, I gotta be careful. Alright, I'll be careful as long as I don't touch, um, the poison. Like, that'll take away my health. I don't want that to happen. What's... Alright, got the puff. I could... Actually, no. I was thinking of going on the tree here. But I think that's gonna be not- I mean, I could use a bright blue, but I think- I think- Whoa, okay, I don't want to touch that. I'm getting close to that light here as I'm running towards it. I, what was that? What is that? Is that the enemy? Does that enemy attack me if I like, if it sees me? Okay, yes, it is an enemy. 
I didn't know. Oh gosh, no! He's gonna eat me! I could throw a bomb at him. Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay. I was like... I was like, I don't know if it's gonna do anything. Like, I was curious if it's gonna, like, attack me, but... The answer is yes, it's going to attack me. Okay, let's just get up on there. Alright. Ta-da! Alright. And I did not lose my health for it. Alright, I think... Now I wanna... Okay, let's see. There's like more over there. Like if you ask me, there are more all around. Which I'll be exploring through the depths now. Since now he got side quests to get me distracted. Wait. Wait, why did I make the... Wait, is that the Lionel? Oh my god. It looks like a Lionel. Okay. I'm not here to mess with the Lionel, okay? If it shot me to kill me, I'm dead. Because this is not what I'm here for. I mean, it's good that they have like a ballast thingy light up like that so I could so I could see and know where I'm going but but when I touch it it, it makes me lose my health so I don't so I want to make sure I don't make a mistake about that so there we go We're, I'm getting good about this Alright, I'm still trying to find uh, where I need to go. Okay, here we go. Land on that one so I don't, like, touch the the thing here, which I almost touched that. Thankfully, I didn't. Oh yeah, I have a send I could use. There we go. And I just see, like, a... Yeah, the style child mouse has already saw me, so I'm just gonna ignore it, keep going. <clears throat> oh gosh. Ooh, that was close. I'm looking around if I can see like another village. I'm guessing I Cannot find that. Okay, I guess not here. Oh gosh, please no. Okay, good. I'm like, please don't do this to my heart. Okay, well, not exactly what I wanted it to have. Like, I did not mean to have myself, like, go blown away like that. Oh, what am I gonna do about the Lionel? Okay. I gotta be careful. Okay, well, this thing got in the way. Thanks a lot. I am so glad I got the two in uh, secret stone with me to help me fly through this. 
Okay, this is when I'm gonna have to dash. Alright. Oh, what's that? I forget. What? No! Oh my gosh. No! You know Bo. God dang it. I did not mean... I did not mean for him to do that. He just got in my way. And I didn't tell him to do that. No gosh. Can you guys just leave me alone for crying out loud? I'm busy here. I just want to explore through this... You know, underneath the depths here. Get the lights on. Which I'm now getting close to that in a, in a good way now. I don't know how many they are, are all around. Honestly. But I'm pretty sure there's still more all around. It would be an, it would be awesome if I could just go on there. Which sadly I cannot go up. I wonder, am I gonna make it to the top? I hope I can, because I only have like a... Oh gosh, no! Ah, oh, come on! Oh, okay, no, we're good. Just take a moment to look around. See if I would find anything. Which, the answer would be... I don't see it. Oh gosh, not this thing again. Run away! I have no idea what these poses are for, I just find them and collect them. And I see the uh, the talus, like the stone talus over there. So I wonder... I have so many questions about this. Okay, get out of that. Just have to make a quick run for it. Um... I have no idea. I guess I'm... I guess I, I will do that later. Uh, I probably... I think I'm already waste. I'm... I'm already wasting myself a time here. Uh, unless I should probably head there just to check it out. All right, cool. Yeah, I forgot to switch the map for this. Oh, come on. Why do you want it? I don't want... I have no time to fight with you. Can you just give me some space? Oh gosh, it's shooting me. Tulin, you got bow. You can shoot. There we go. Get the keys out of here. Alright, go up here. That'll make me go through this. Ah, okay, yes! Okay, I almost have a feeling I would not be able to see it, because if I didn't, then I'll just be like, I'm wasting time, and I'm gonna have to, like, just move on of what I was, what I was doing. At least it's fine that I'm just gonna be exploring through the depths just to find uh, more light. Not like these kind of light, but the one that's like right there. I'll take the pose. Thank you. 
Alright. Don't want to stand on this for too long. But yeah, I'm. I think there's something special for getting the. I think you have to collect 26 of the the deaths light. But hey, I think this is the part that I was looking for the whole time. Now. <gasps> All right, finally found this part. So as I look, uh, I have to go, wait, what, what was that? Oh, it's just, you know, <laughs> don't scare me like that. I thought you were someone else. Like, I thought you were some different creatures wanting to attack me. And I would have be like, ah. Okay, um, that's gonna be hard to find and see here, but I guess I'll go that way then. All I have to do is just probably run to the, this rock, I believe. I. I'm not entirely sure though. Because they can be complicated to find. Grove of Time? Whoa. Oh gosh, watch out from the tree! Okay. Oh gosh, there's more trees. Oh gosh, don't- Oh my gosh, I didn't- I didn't see it coming. Oh gosh. I don't feel safe right here. I don't feel safe on that one. Alright. They probably they saw me and heard me, so I need to like oh gosh, watch out. Okay. Oh wait, I, I think this is it right here. I think I'll I think I'm gonna do that one. It'll give me much easier to see. Because it's hard to do this in the dark like that, so I need to get the light on. Alright, touch this one. Alright, now I can continue where the... Wait, what's that up there? I don't know what it is, but it's like... It's like... Flame or something. I think this is not exactly where I'm supposed to go. As I'm here at the Grove of Spirits. I wonder, is this a... Oh wait, I think this is where I was looking for. It's the... I think this is what I'm supposed to look for, right? Because this is what I'm heading up to. Great Abandoned Central Mine is what we are on.
And there's a... Well, I wonder what these are. I want to go take a look closer at them. I'll grab them right now. Grandpo. Oh, so that adds up higher like this. I wonder if getting more of a pose like that, does that mean it adds to like... Does that add to like uh, a money? If that would, if that's the truth, if that would be the case, then uh, then that means it might be meaning for something. I don't know what these are, but we got those guys just standing. So I'll go ahead and like examine the portal by touching it. There we go. Authorizer verified. It, it's moving. Conferry auto build to authorizer now. Please authorize it as you explore and e activate into Dev's zone. All right. Well, looks like I think we're gonna be getting something new here. As you can see here, that Link is holding out his hand like this. Oh, what's this one? This is new. Auto build. So we can instantly recreate. Did I see what I thought I saw? Did that thing just give you the power we've been researching? That's incredible. C could you give us a demonstration? Let me see what the net what the text has to say. Hold on. Um, this ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. Ah. I know, I, I know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke, and we've been struggling to put them back together again. Oh. The one of the round pedestal lost the wheel. Uh, and the one and the one on the square pedestal has fallen to pieces. But I think if you put the wheel back onto the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second in no time <laughs> flat. So come on, let's see in action. Fix him fix him up quick. You could stop by repairing the one on the round pedestal. Okay. Well, I don't know how uh, there are no registered uh, I, okay, I don't have register. <laughs> I think what I have to do is turn this way. Oh, okay, there we go. So I think I put it like this. Ah! <laughs> wow, look at that! That wheel's right back on there, snug as a bug. Now, it's time for the main event. The one in pieces on the square pedestal. <laughs> Use that new power of yours and fix it up lickety split. Oh, so now we can use this. Uh, do I, like, confirm? Okay. Build. Ah, look at that. Awesome. Well, it's like I'm seeing double. Built in less than that no time flat too. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, ancient power. The texts were right after all. I'll say that power is incredible. Oh, master. Well, look at that. The legends were true. Uh-oh. Looks like we've been... <gasps> Guess what we have? Great work, both of you. You too, stranger. Credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is... If there's one fall, never forget. It's the man who cast me from the Gerudo Desert Hideout into these very depths. It was you... Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no-good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. 
That means you, Link. We meet again at last. And don't try to tell me you've forgotten we we are bound by fate, you and I. Hear my name in trouble and fear. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the deaths defying, from the ashes rising. Master Koga. Master Koga, leader of the Yiga clan. I saw it all. I saw the moment you obtained the ancient power we've sought for so long. The highlights of all of the musty old texts we found in this land. It remembers objects you've assembled and can instantly reproduce them. A lost long ability from the distant past. So you, you, you're cheating. Here we are, working ourselves to the bone, bone to build things by hand. And you can just whip them up in an instant. That's not fair. You know who could have used the power? The one we worship and revert. The Magnificent One. If we offered it to him, he would have crushed you and Zelda both. But you just walked right up and snatched it away. Now, I'm going to snatch it back. Okay, well, prepare yourself. Okay, uh, I think what we're supposed to do is use a... Let's see here, and then I can use, uh... Uh, what do I do? What do you want me to do about you? Do I? As I'm on, I have to shoot you, right? Okay. I think I'll use uh, other weapons. Like, I'm gonna use... I'll use the soldier's claymore, like this. This is a weird attack way here. <laughs> Alright, come on. This feels weird that I'm attacking like underneath here. Maybe I should move farther away and then do the par what was I about to do. Honestly, I didn't know that we're gonna be fighting the Yiga clan like that. Like, it's been a while. <laughs> I shot him before he does the thing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use a... I know this is our use, useless weapons, but... But I can still use it, and it'll do a better job of attacking. Alright, I think this is pretty much easy one. There we go. Yeah, good job, you know, Bo. That's how you attack it. I'm like, I wonder if I could just remove this. I think I could? No, okay. Well, I don't want to waste myself the time standing here. I'm gonna use... Whoa, that does a lot of damage. Awesome. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh gosh, Tulin, I can't... Here, try hitting that. <laughs> I shot his butt. 
butt. <laughs> wow, I just shot his butt behind while he was driving. That was, I didn't expect I could do something like that. That was pretty funny to me, honestly. You pesky little pest. Why would you stand still? Let me squish you. Well, fine. I suppose I can't let you off easily for easy for today. You think you're so smart? But I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. Oh, mm. really? I saw your little tricks there. You used your right hand to get that construct going. I'll grab that power you cheated me out of my, out for myself off at the southwestern abandoned mine. <laughs> then the magnificent one, and I will guide this world to its miserable end. And there is nothing you could do to stop us. And now he's just gonna like, oh. So don't follow me. Well, bye. <laughs> and don't come back. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Master Koga of the Yiga Clan side adventures. Well, we have a, a mystery deaths going. Let's open this chest and see what we have inside. Whoa! A huge crystallized charge! Excuse me. Oh, yeah? Thank you for repealing the trespassers. I hope you will pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man maintained an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect that he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. That place flourished with activity long ago, like this one, or was constantly in earth and refined. There are, there are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo mine. Follow them to reach the destination. I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing, before you set out on your journey. There is something I'd like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and talk. Alright, I'll talk to you then. Uh, thank you for driving out the trespasser. I will no longer need to hide in order to avoid de detection. There is another reason that it is good you have come. I say, you have, I say that you have the ability to auto-build, that means the schema stone I carry is for you. Oh, you get the schema stone. Uh, ah, so I can use it to like fly. The new design has been registered with auto-build. You should now be able to auto-build an additional design. Please wait while I prepare the necessary parts for you to test the schema stone. All right, well, I'll let you do that. So, let's see. Schema stones can help you to build things you have never built before, you've never before imagined. I hope that we will find this one useful. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, you know what? I think I'll be okay that I just do this. Good. I'll put the- I'm gonna put this behind. I'll put this one here. You know what? It's fine. I'll just put it here. Okay. So I guess we can just, uh... I'll put this here. I'll go ahead and make myself there. I don't want to like lose a battery to charge. This is what I'm doing. Oh gosh, no! Wait, what what happened? <laughs> I just yell oh no for no reason. You know, that was kinda of funny on honestly. I was like, oh no, where am I going? 
All right. Well, I think let's I think let's go make our way back to the. Oh. I didn't realize I was underneath the. It looks like a uh, great plateau. Um. Well, let, I'll worry about that later. Let's go back to the lookout landing. Um. So we can go talk to Joshua. So here I am back at the lookout landing here. So I can start, uh, so I can go talk to Joshua, which there she is right here. We can finally investigate, so we're gonna go and talk to her and, uh, mm -hmm. Swordsman, what is it? You look very pleased with yourself. Could it be? Uh, yes, it is. Odd, a, uh, auto build. What the ability to instantly repo, repo, or replicate things you've built and scheme of stones. Oh. So there really was a Zonite temple housing a mysterious power down mm -hmm. in the depths. That m that might that may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Um... Not that. Nope. Not that either. Here we go. <laughs> here, swordsman. Oh, and we also get ourselves a schema stone. It's for the the hot air balloon, which is which is awesome. Uh -huh. This is a schema stone for our balloon, right? So so if you use this with auto build, you could replicate or replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking. Yeah. That balloon over there belongs to goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think that you might be able to fix it with auto build? So excited, I want to see an action pronto. I'll go prepare real quick. Alright, looks like we gotta like... Okay. Swordsman, everything's ready. Please demonstrate how auto build replicates things. <laughs> Alright, well, looks like we're gonna like, use this. Oh. Alright. Build, and... Ta-da! Can't, I can't believe it! You rebuilt the balloon in an instant! Well, you wanted me to, so... This this mysterious power goes beyond significant explanation. G you know, goggles. Hey. Goggles! What are you yelling about, Joshua? Inconceivable! My balloon! It's fixed! This must be the mysterious power the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special auction. And we just give this a large zone night. I still haven't been able to figure out what that is, but judging from that light, it's gonna be zone in origin. Since you could use zone powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. Yeah. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep researching the devs going forward. Who knows? I might- I just might find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the devs, please let me know, swordsman. Alright, well, that was like a main quest for- I apologize for another video froze on me again. It cut me off, like, here. I apologize, guys, but... Let's just continue. So, um... So you faced Koga in the devs. Hmm, what's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the Kingdom of Hyrule, and Koko has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we're looking into already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Hmm. Besides, Koko could know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. If you do go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? There's a can there's a cans there, and I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the one you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere too, and do come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. These statues lead farther southwest into the depths. Uh -huh. Where they go is anyone's guess, but I bet there's a destination far beyond that building worth oh. seeing. 
I'll keep gathering info about what's in the depths, so be sure to stop by and check with me sometimes. Alright. I'll- I will do that. Thank you. And, uh, yes. We have so, some side quests for Robbie. Let's talk with him. I really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra, thanks. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm. I should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Listen up, big update here. Your Pura pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purapad Research Lab in Hantanel Village. Pearl or Purapad's Research Lab? <laughs> That's right. It's a lab de dedicated to the enhancement of the Purapad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in that lab, you join me there, I can further improve your Purapad starting with the sensor. You'll find a lab in East Nikwada, off in the south southeast corner and corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hantanel Village. Go a bit farther than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. All right, I'm going to head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in Hantanel Village. Don't keep me waiting. So I guess we'll have to go make our way to Hantanel Village. <clears throat> Which, that's gonna be, like, a long way to get over there. <laughs> Honestly, it's only been a while since we would make our way to Hantano Village. Uh, I guess I don't see why the problem, but, uh, I think, but I do want to focus on, like, I need to get that Skyview Tower work. And then, uh, and also the tier, which I need to get to that. So, I'm gonna do that right now. So, here I am. I am back here. So, the tower is over there. Oh, yeah. Let's have, like, two and do the thing with the, the wind blowing. Alright. Hopefully those guys... Yeah, they're... Hopefully those enemies was... You know, the enemies, eh won't bother me while I'm heading towards the tower here. I do want to take a look around, see if there's any other, like... I think what I know is there's like a, a tier map somewhere that I see. Alright. How about you guys just leave me alone? Okay. Oh, not yet. Sorry. Trying to make myself go faster here. Oh, I think... Oh, look! The mu that must be it there. Alright, I'm gonna... Geronimo down. I think I could use this one. Oh yeah, I'm back on a Yunobo... Co HQ. All right. Let's see here. Can I? Re no, I can't recall. Dang it! It would have been awesome if I would recall, and I would have keep go. I would have go high, and then I'll just do the the gliding like this more often. Oh, look at that! I think that must be for the Korok. So I have to find the rocks here, like these ones. I found this rock. There's another way right here that I'll get to. Alright. So I just need to put... Uh... Unless if I'm putting the wrong one. I feel like I'm putting the wrong one. You know what? Yeah. Here. Pick up this rock, throw that away. I don't need you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Alright, 
Now let's try to put this here. Hold on. Wait, what? What happened? I don't know what just happened. Hey! I did it! <clears throat> I found you indeed. Alright. Glad I did that with the Korok. Shall we continue now, as I'm heading this way? He's probably gonna see me anyways. Oh, no! <laughs> Yay, I get to ride on a deer for the first time! <laughs> Let's go for a ride! Woo! I could. I'll go ahead. Shoot the wolf up there. So that way they will leave me alone. Because. They could be annoying. Oh, hey, there's a shrine that I found now. There are more shrines everywhere that I'm going to be looking for now. At least it'll be a good thing to do, since right now we're just, uh, you know... We'll just be exploring through finding some shrines while we while we did some, like, abandoned, uh... Something I forgot that we did under the depths. <clears throat> Alright, I, I need to save my stamina to get up. Okay, I need to like... I need to start making some stamina food already because I am not in a... Because I'm not okay with this. Uh-oh. Uh, I... Nah, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the top. No. Okay, I'm like, I hope they didn't see me. Maybe I'll go the other side. <clears throat> Wait, okay. Get up here, Link. Whoops. No. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, it's so annoying. Like, seriously. Come on, Link. I don't want to just, uh, climb, like, this, uh, this way. That I wanted to get up there. Unless if I was supposed to have to use a, a tower over there to get me up here. Because that would be the option. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, honestly, I, I don't know what to talk about, but I like to mention uh, this game, uh, they, they, turn, they make it look really good like Breath of the Wild. You know, the same exact gameplay, uh, but different, but we have like a, a different, uh, different things, uh, for, you know, from Breath of the Wild, now we have Tears of a Kingdom here, the sequel. It's a lot different than the first one, but I find it look pretty cool. You know, find it look pretty good. Okay, I feel like this is not a good idea. And... I see another shrine over there. Okay, here we go. Finally, I made it here. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So this is like a master sword. I could... I could see that it looks like a master sword here. So what I need to do now is I need to like look around. I need to find shows us like the tear, you know, a, dr a drop of water from the t for the tear. 
So it has like a memory. Cause it has, cause they have memory on it when you find it. If it's not on here, then it must be from the back. I think. Yes, there it is. This is the one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and examine this. Get ourselves a memory. <clears throat> you know, for finding that tear here. This is awesome here. So, let's see what this is about. Hi there, dragon. He managed to restrain him somehow. Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Master Sword. You're telling me that Link is safe? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. <gasps> Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. Here. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Forever changed. Link! You must find me. So the memory that we just saw, it shows us that Zelda, uh, the master, when we hand it to the master sword, you know, it teleports to her. I think something tells us that she is the. I think she's the one who are the. What is it? I think she's the one who transformed into a dragon. And have us find her flying around with the master sword. I think that probably makes sense about it. I might have a good feeling for it, honestly. 
But alright, so now we got that done, I think what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go make our way to that tower over there. Let's see, can I get on that? Yes, I can. Uh, whoa, are you gonna try to. It's about to. Too slow. Okay. Um. Let's see here. I can use a shield. You know, I got lots of it, so I'll probably use this. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I need to take care of you down here. So you can't annoy me. All right, well. Oh, here. Ah, there we go. Okay, I have a feeling this is something I can do. Move that out of the way. Something that I didn't know about, which now I do. But alright. I'm gonna dive and use a paraglider, and here we are. How in Hyrule? Uh... I came to repair the Skyview Tower, but the terminal hasn't been working. Until now, it started working again, even without me doing anything. Huh? There was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower? Hmm, the terminal and the lid on top of the tower were connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, get the map working here on this Skyview Tower. This is going to be a long exploration we're going to have, everyone. I know we're going to be going up to the sky. It's really fun because it's just like... Oh, hey, I saw the... That must be in another memory tier here. That I'm gonna have to go there to find one. <laughs> we got so many stuff that I'm gonna be exploring to find a book for. This is insane. Alright. Let's get the surface map updated. There we go. Even the sky. Alright. Alright, I guess I could go there first. I know that there's shrine behind me. Uh, alright, just... I think that's probably something for later that I can take care of. As right now I want to focus what I'm doing. What's that down here? Oh, that's probably just a shrine. I was like, I don't know what it is. And I'm probably might be heading towards the other tower as well. I have no idea where am I going in this episode. I think, I think this part might take me to the, what is it? I think that one there is when it'll take me to the, the another shrine destination, you could say. I'm not so sure, but I, but I, but I will find out later. I, okay, hold on. Let's do that. Alright, now I'm gonna dive. 
I should. St I think it would be awesome if I just eat, if I could just eat those. Which I want to work on cooking those. I haven't do that since uh, you know Breath of the Wild. Okay, well I need to eat. Uh, okay, well I need to put on like. Put this on. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh no, I don't have it, but I actually do. <laughs> that got me scared for for that minute. I got. I was like, oh, oh no, something's not working. Something went completely wrong. That's probably something for later, too. North Wommel Labyrinth. More shrine up there, all like. Gosh, there's so many of them. I'm like seeing them a lot, and I'm just right now going through with finding rest more of a shrine. Like, this is so many. <clears throat> I was like in a part of doing something. Like, I was in a part where I could, uh, I don't know. More everything. Good thing I put the pin there, because now I just saw another uh, symbol that can give us like a, a tear that will give us a memory for it. And it looks like we have a Korok here. Okay, if I could just find a rock... Uh... That one's a chill shroom. That's also a chill sh chill shroom. Uh... Where is that? Hmm... I wonder if those rocks would do anything. I want to see. Oh, come on. I don't want to deal with you guys right now. Leave me alone. Those guys just want to fight with me for real. Oh gosh. Well, I don't want. I, well, I don't want to. I don't want to waste myself the time. Whatever I'm doing. I know there's a shrine that I could that I could get to that later, which soon hopefully. The music is just play right now. Like, want to make it very serious. <clears throat> All right, where is it? Am I going the right way? Like, I should be able to find, um, where it shows me I can find a memory tier. Whoa! It's a bear! Uh, well, I'm not here to mess around with the bear. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Whoa, what's that? Did you see the shadow? What was that? <laughs> Sorry about that, I just sneeze. <laughs> uh, let's continue. Alright, so if I- I know there's a- I know I'm passing through the shrine, but I want to find a memory first, as I just saw. Well, you 
your your Halloween isn't gonna help. Okay, I think I'm close by. I, I don't know. I don't want to say it because now I'm like, because I, because I'm like, I'm jinxing it. Oh, okay, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Wow, I've been climbing up mountains here a lot. <clears throat> and I know there's a tower right there, which takes us to be like all the way up top. Wow, more shrine here too. That was an accident. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to like just use the have two and use a gust on me to to get me to go there fast. Okay, so I gotta find. Oh no, that's not it. I have to find a one that shows like a tear, like a circle around. So it's not that one. <clears throat> this is like really big here. Like, I never expect this could be like that big. Mm, it's not here. Hmm. Oh gosh, you. Okay, so it tells me it's not here. It's not that one either. Oh yeah, I'm gonna delete the blue pin since I'm not here. But yeah, there is a lot more shrines all around that I'm gonna be looking for. I wonder, is it? I, I don't think it's a middle. It would be interesting if it's in the middle. Because I'm right now just running around looking for it. I wish I knew what this is called, but I couldn't find, uh... I cannot find a part where, uh, what is it? I just cannot find a part where I could have the memory with me. I mean, look how huge this is. Well, I heard a Korok, so I guess I'll just get the Korok here. Hey! Wait for me! There you go. Got the Korok. Okay. Let's continue finding. I wish I could make myself go faster when I, like... Oh, well, let me see, uh... I'm gonna put this on. I'll probably, like... I... I think I'll be okay. Maybe.
I only have 55 seconds of my cold resistance. Well, it wants to charge right at me, but good thing I'm not near. Okay. It has to be somewhere, one of them. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Okay, I, I need you to go away, please. Okay, you're annoying. Alright, let's see. Will I be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. Alright. Cause I want- Cause I want to eat that's gonna give me a speed. Even though I'm not really like super duper fast, but uh... But a little bit of fast. I think I came here before. Okay, what do you want? Dude, can you just leave me alone? We're crying out loud. Okay. Ugh, stupid Octorok. Being a pain in the butt. I'm gonna have to edit a video, uh, if I can't find it. Did I? Oh yeah, that's the shrine I already put the pin there. Okay, there it is! Wow, I've been looking for that a lot! Okay, I'm still relieved for that. Okay. Let's just get- let's just exam this. Alright, never mind about the editing then. Now I found, uh, the tear. That gives me a memory. It is mine!
Sonia! You were too late, Rauru. You took for granted the godlike power you had in your hands. Do you now see the potential you squandered? As for her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. You tried to control me, Rauru, and you will die knowing that you failed. Can I die? Prince Sonia needs you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like really intense and really sad. <laughs> Well, that was the memory that we got now. Okay, so that was Birth of the Demon King. Holy cow. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna like, uh, let's see here. I think I'll head to the, I'm gonna head to that tower here. I'm gonna do this right now. Alright, so now I am back here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this episode here. Uh, you know, since I've been recording like a longer. Uh, so I'll go ahead and end it here. Next, so what I'm gonna do, ne next episode, we're gonna be going through all those uh, pins I put down for the shrines. So that way, uh, you know, I could get some more spirit. You know, get the more blessing lights to get more heart tears for the goddess statue. And I also gotta find like a goddess stat or not goddess statue. Um I need to get I need to get to like the the uh the Skyview Tower that's somewhere in the snow in mount in the snow mountain that we've seen before. But uh But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do, please do me a favor, drop a like for this video. If you are new to my channel and haven't just subscribed, go ahead and hit a subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notification bell so y'all can be notified on when I can post videos on YouTube. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!